Hey, did you reach safely? Why do you care now? Everyone's super pissed with you, and I don't think they will forget what you chose to do over ridiculous reasons. You were supposed to be here with me and support me. I was more mad about the whole thing because you were crying all the way to the airport, and when I found out we won't be sitting together on the flight, it was pathetic. Your mom had a heart to treat me as less than ever in her hard times. I have never felt so humiliated before. My father passed away for God's sake. You could have discussed this with her later, but you had to make it about you and your feelings. You are so pathetic and acting like a spoiled kid. Discuss? Why should I have to discuss something with her and confront her when all she does is be passive-aggressive and mean? I don't understand why you both can't get along for once, at least during such a sad time. She took the effort to book us tickets because she wanted us to be there and share her sorrow. Don't you think what she did was wrong and uncivilized? Why should I travel in economy and you by business class? She booked the tickets this way because she wanted us to sit apart from each other on the journey. It could be a mistake or availability issues. You could have let it go for my sake. She could have let it go for once. She could have booked us both in economy if money or availability was an issue for her. Eleanor, we live in a different state. She was not under any obligation to provide tickets to us in the first place. Learn to be grateful for once. She doesn't owe you anything anyway. This is totally unfair. Oh well, what do you need? I can't text right now. Nothing. Bye. Hi, Eleanor. Did you guys leave for the funeral? It was supposed to be today, right? Hey, yes. Charles is already there. You didn't go? I thought you both were going together. I canceled at the last minute. My mother-in-law did something awful to me. Uh-oh, what happened? We reached the airport and Charles said we couldn't sit together in the plane because his mom had booked him a first-class ticket while I had to travel in economy. Oh, why the different types of class for both of you traveling together the same day, same time? It's my mother-in-law. We don't really get along or have a close relationship, you know. I see. But why didn't you go, regardless? She had booked a ticket anyway, right? Gosh! Charles says the same thing too. Can't anyone see how she tried to demean me even in her hard times? Well, this should be a hard time for all of you. Most importantly for Charles. He could definitely use your support. Did I act stupid by refusing to go? Eleanor, ask yourself. Was the seat issue more important than supporting your husband after the death of his father? Your mother-in-law is undoubtedly petty and nasty for doing what she did. But you made Charles go without your support. Have I caused damage to my marriage because of this? I am afraid you have. Charles could have traveled by economy too and we both would have gone without any fuss. He knew about it all along and kept quiet until we reached the airport. He ambushed me and asked me to accept whatever was offered. You're not getting the point, dear. Why? He probably wasn't thinking straight. I'm saying this wasn't the right time to talk about it. I'm feeling so disappointed in this. You could give him some time to grieve and maybe a few days or weeks later, discuss with him and bring to his notice how you felt. I hope he has calmed down when he is back. He is super mad at me at present. If this was for a holiday or graduation, I'd assume your reaction would be fine. But your partner lost one of his parents. Kind of a very wrong time to take a stand for something that's unfair. Have you wondered if there could be other possibilities here too? Like what? Well, think of this. What if she had enough points for one upgrade? And she knew she'd be keeping your husband busy so would like him to be better rested. That's still not okay. I guess she had booked multiple tickets for all her children. So she just went ahead with the best option for her at that time. 
You really need to give your mother-in-law the benefit of the doubt here, Eleanor. Oh yeah, that's quite possible. Besides, it would be really weird if a newly widowed woman was more concerned about stupid political games with her daughter-in-law rather than her dead husband. You're actually making sense. Gosh, the funeral must have been over by now. I can't even make it up to Charles and his family now. Tell me one thing. How could you bail out as soon as you found out about the seats? He is your husband. He didn't say for once that I could sit in first class and he was in economy when he saw I was upset about the seat issue. That would have instantly calmed me down. His attitude about the whole thing was more hurtful. Do you realize you have gave points to your mother-in-law here? She's forever going to be able to say that look. My daughter-in-law didn't even attend her father-in-law funeral and deprived my son of the support a spouse can offer in times of grief. No one will remember about the plane tickets, but definitely remember that you were missing. I'm not sure about her now. Maybe this was a mistake or an availability issue. My dear, even if your mother-in-law's intentions were cruel towards you, you should have done what you had to do. You could have let everyone know about the seat there, and everyone would have found out about the seat issue and questioned your mother-in-law's intentions. I played right into her hands. Yes. Please speak to Charles, dear. He doesn't deserve an angry, upset wife right now. You've presented your mother-in-law with the ripe opportunities to fill his ears against you anyway. Okay, mom. I wish I had acted better. Act more smartly, I guess. Yeah. He's going to be mad at me for so long now. I have a really bad feeling about facing him once he is back. Just be honest and nice and avoid talking about your humiliation to him for God's sake. Okay, mom. Hey, honey. When did you get back from the funeral? This morning. I left for work after breakfast. Why didn't you wake me up? I didn't want to. How'd the funeral go? Why do you care? You didn't call even once to check in on me or my family. My poor mother cried so much. She could hardly eat. She had to be hospitalized. What? Why? She had a lot of weakness. Is she okay now? Yeah. She was home yesterday evening. So I took the midnight flight and was home early this morning. Did you get some rest? I'm okay. Don't worry about me. I'm your wife. I care about you. I can't feel it. I can't feel the love, care or concern that you claim to have for me. Babe, I screwed up. I am so sorry. The ticket issue was so petty. You don't even know the whole story. You don't know why mom did what she did. Really? Please tell me why. She wished to have her three sons and daughter with her during this period of loss and sadness. Money was not an issue, but the hassle of booking tickets for others at the last moment led to this situation. All of the daughter-in-laws flew by economy. Huh? Really? Yes. Mom couldn't get sufficient seats for two people to sit together, so she decided to book whatever was available. She was able to upgrade a few tickets and thought the kids would decide whose spouse travels by which class. So, you're saying your brothers made their wives travel by economy while they comfortably sat in first class? You're wrong. The wives made their husbands sit in first class, and they all sat in economy because they were not even thinking of what you were at that point. You just left me at the airport. Gosh, I misunderstood the whole thing. I thought this was a plan to make me feel bad. Everyone was shocked that you skipped the funeral. I obviously didn't say why, but I couldn't even come up with reasonable excuses so people were just assuming whatever they wanted to. How did the family react? Shocked. Obviously, they asked me to call you and even offered to book an expensive first-class ticket, but I declined. I didn't want you there anymore because I knew you were not 1% sad about my father's demise and my family's huge loss. I have acted terribly. I am at a loss of words. Charles, 
Will you be able to forgive me for this? Will you be able to forgive yourself for what you did and how you acted? I might forget and forgive soon, but what kind of a person are you? I don't know why I got so caught up with your mom's intentions. Even if she meant harm, it would not affect me or our marriage if I had attended anyhow. Yeah. I felt so sad to sit on that plane alone for five hours. You just added to my grief that day, Eleanor. I am so sorry. I am going to take the next flight to see your family. Don't. They have decided to cut all ties with you. You visiting them would just add fuel to the fire. Don't go now. It's okay. Let some time pass. But how did they take such a huge decision? Like, they are not going to talk to me or see me? Mom most certainly will not. I don't know about the others. I am willing to apologize to her. Why do you hate her so much? Excuse me? Do you love her? Um... I don't know. She has not given me a reason to. How could you say that? Yeah, she has always had a problem with me. You always say this, but trust me, it is all in your head. She loves you so much. But you said she wishes to never speak with me or see me again. Yeah, but she just called. You have your chance to repair your equation with my mom. What? How? What did she say? Since dad is no more, and my brothers are living in smaller houses with two to three kids, she has expressed her wish to live with me. With us. What? Really? Yes. You can welcome her and make her comfortable here. Maybe that would change her mind about you. Um, okay. Wouldn't things be a bit awkward? Why do you think that? Because we have never lived together. Also, the whole flight ticket conundrum makes me wonder if this arrangement would work. Let's wait and watch. Give it a chance. She had similar apprehensions and I told her the same. You both need to give it a chance. I'll do it for you. Thanks. If you both can live together amicably... I don't think there is anything more a son or a married man would want in his life. It's maddening to have to choose between the two. I'm sorry I made you go through your father's loss alone. I had my entire family but you. I know. How'd you feel sitting here alone the whole week? Pathetic. Why didn't you come join us there? I didn't know how to face everyone. So you did realize your mistake long ago. You know... I would have given you my seat or asked someone in economy to switch to first class so I could sit beside you. But you got so mad the moment I told you about the tickets that I had no chance to explain my point. I think you shouldn't have been put in the spot to explain anything to anyone at that point. I know I acted very poorly. And I think mom moving in with us will give me a chance to make things better. Thanks, Eleanor. When is mom arriving? This weekend. Will you come with me to the airport to pick her up? I certainly can't say no to that. So, that weekend, Charles's mom arrived to live with them. As days passed, he saw that they both grew fond of each other's company and were starting to become more amicable than they ever were in the past few years. Charles's mom forgave Eleanor for missing her husband's funeral and even apologized for the ticket's rockets and that she didn't mean anything about the difference in class. It was just a matter of time, of course. Eleanor is elated to have her mother-in-law with her. She is eager to learn new recipes from her, and Charles couldn't have been happier. It was a happy ending after all. And happy endings are possible, unlike in the movies. But if you're willing to take one step further towards each other and let go of preconceived notions and silly assumptions, Minor misunderstandings are not worth losing precious family members.